Guten Tag. Good morning. Would you be Mr. Wallace? Yes, I would, old man. I don't think I've had the pleasure, have I? My name is Routon. Oh, well, come in then now. You don't stand there. Okay. I, uh, I suppose the police sent you. Police? Oh, they're always sending someone up here. You see, no one in the village speaks very good English. I, I was, um, I was down there for three hours the other day, uh, interpreting for some Irish woman who'd, uh, pranged her car. Not that I'm all that good at the lingo. Well, do sit down and uh, tell me what I can do for you. Actually, I'm a lawyer. I was hoping that you'd be able to help me with some inquiries I'm making. Well, anything at all, please, to help. Will you have a drink? A bit early for me. Hmm? Oh, you're right. <laughs> well, uh, what do you want to know? I'm inquiring about the death of a Mr. Hagen. Hagen? Hagen? I can't help you there, old man. I've never heard of him. Uh, does he... I mean... Did he live around here? We understand he died in Switzerland at Einbeck. Einbeck? That's where I had my interview. That will be with a Mr. Bernay? That's right. But how did you know about that? Oh, I guessed, actually. I knew you were staying at the Schweitzerhof and that you went up to the Brajanska clinic. I arrived at Mr. Bernay by a process of elimination. Well, you're quite right. <laughs> a proper sell it was, too. <laughs> I think I will have a drink. Are you sure you won't join me? Quite sure, thank you. In uh, what way was it to sell, Mr. Wallace? Well, they had me on, as you might say. I find this job in science today much the same sort of job as I had in the old country, only at about three times the salary. And I write for it, get it, and they send me out to see one of their directors, this man Bernay. Well, after a lot of humming and harring, he says he's changed his mind. I, I didn't fancy going back after all that. It's pretty cheesed off, I can tell you. Hagen was taken ill at Einbeck the day you arrived. Did you see him there? Just a minute. Do you mean at the inn? Yes, he was there when it happened. That's right. I remember now. They were they were just carting him off when I arrived. See his face? Well, sort of, but I couldn't really tell you what he looked like. Do you remember if he looked like that? Hmm? It's hard to say. <laughs> of course, he was um, pretty green around the gills at the time. And you didn't see Hagen again after that at the clinic, I mean? No, why should I? It's a charming place you have here. <laughs> you bet it is. <laughs> you could say that Bernay was the cause of this. I rather fell on my feet after I left him. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't fancy going back to the old country. And so, uh, as I still had a couple of hundred quid in traveler's checks, I, uh, I popped down to Cannes. You see, for years I've had a roulette system that I've been working on. And it won you a large sum of money? No. <laughs> no. I lost half my lot in the first half hour. I was pretty cheesed off, I can tell you. So I, um, I plonked 50 on the first number that came into my head. That's what worked. <laughs> it came up half a dozen times and I kept putting half back. <laughs> ah, I found I'd won a packet. Really, how interesting. Hmm. So I, um... I drove round Europe for a bit by way of celebration, as you might say, and uh, ended up here. I liked it, and here I am. <laughs> as a matter of fact, I've bought myself into a little uh, chemical business in Vienna. They're developing an insecticide formula of mine, and very profitable it is, too. <laughs> well, I'm uh, sorry I can't help you about the other chap. Well, it doesn't matter. It's kind of you to talk to me, Mr. Wallace. Not at all. Don't you find it a little boring and stuck away up here? No, I love it, old man. I suppose it's all right if one has a, a hobby, collecting butterflies or something. <laughs> you get crackers doing that. Well, some people find it interesting, but then I suppose you're not the collecting type. Oh, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Look, I collect the fauna of the Tirolo, old man. I mount them myself. It keeps me amused for hours. Remarkable. Well, look, do drop in any time you happen to be passing again. I'm always happy to see an English face. Most kind of you, Mr. Wallace. Thank you. Right. Cheerio. 